next week. All right, we could use that. Hey, it's time to check on some entertainment headlines with John Castellamides from the Las Vegas Review Journal. And it's been a busy week, hasn't it? Has it has been, yeah. It's only Wednesday. Wicked Wednesday. <sighs> Wicked Wednesday. A lot of things going on. And this is something that you actually reported first because you were at Excess Nightclub when Drake was there performing for CES. And apparently right. you alluded to the fact that he was probably going to start a residency. Well, it, this goes back to when they first booked him for that Thursday night gig that mm -hmm. I'd heard th uh, through sources at the club that it was going to be two years, ten shows. And that uh, the, the show last Thursday was going to kick off, the, that was his debut, and that was going to kind of kick off and be the tease to the whole thing. And then he right. got on stage and said he was going to be back on stage at, a lot at Excess Nightclub this year. A and lot. now we have reporting um, elsewhere in The Beast, actually, that it's going to be a $10 million deal, multiple Woo. year, uh, at least 10 shows, which falls in line pretty much with my reporting. The club officials, even today on my way over here, said they cannot confirm reporting yet on any of this. Mm -hmm. That's important to know. None of it has okay. been officially verified. There's a lot but, of different reports. But, different but the man who is at the center of this whole thing said he was going to be back again this year at, at Excess. That is a fact. And they sold his champagne. It's called Mod. And that champagne deal is going to play into all this, this deal. The Mod champagne arrangement with uh, Excess was a big deal on Thursday. $400 a bottle at Ooh. least. At least. That's a lot of champagne. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So anyway, we'll look, look for that because uh, Drake is a super, super star and there's a, a, a lot of energy about him appearing at, uh, at Excess Nightclub, which is one of the biggest nightclubs we have in Las yeah. Vegas, obviously. Pr pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. Well, that'll be a good deal. All right. Let's talk about Celine Dion and Lady Gaga, both pulling a song that they did with R. Kelly. I know you reported a little yeah. bit on this. Uh, first was Lady Gaga last week. And then this week, just a couple of days ago, Celine Dion pulled uh, the 1998 uh, holiday song that uh, R. Kelly had written for her, I'm Your Angel, uh, the video and single offline. Mm. You can't, it was taken down from streaming services, and this is in the face of the uh, Surviving R. Kelly documentary that uh, aired on Lifetime earlier this year that um, chronicled allegations of uh, sexual misconduct mm -hmm. by R. Kelly and those two superstars. A, a big, <laughs> it's a big move to, to do that, have, have made a stand against him. Others have talked about him and, and, uh, and, and come out and, and uh, criticized him, mm -hmm. but these two are the only two stars who have actually pulled music offline and videos offline because of it. Right. Well, I guess if they feel strongly, they've got enough hits to hold them <laughs> afloat, Their careers right? are going to be okay. Yeah. They're going to be okay. I can't say the same for R. Kelly, but no. I can tell you it's Celine Dion and Lady Gaga got nothing. To, they yeah. have nothing to worry about in terms of sales. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. uh, interesting. Okay, so uh, Paul McCartney, one of the biggest stars out there, coming to T-Mobile Arena. Yeah, there's this Paul. This is one of my favorite songs. I picked <laughs> it. This morning they the said, what's say, your favorite? Say, Say, video. Yeah, okay, Mac <laughs> and Jack with Linda McCartney. You know who else was in this video? Who? LaToya Jackson. Oh. Uh, big hit for <laughs> Mac and Jack. How about that? Paul McCartney is going to be uh, at T-Mobile Arena on June 29th. Okay. On his Freshen Up tour, folks, he plays for two and a half hours. His encore these days are longer than Beatles concerts were. In really? The 60s. That's a that's a fact. I've seen it a, bu a bunch of times. He is it, the gold standard for rock uh, hierarchy, rock royalty, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, he'll be 77 by the time he takes the stage that night. Wow! And why do you think they added it in Las Vegas? You think we've got the people to fill? I mean, th you they know, just thought it would be a good spot. For you know, I don't. I can't speak. It was a late over. ad. Yeah, it was a late ad. He's played here before, but uh, at uh, MGM Grand Garden Arena, they might be tying it into some event for Love. Mm -hmm. That's conceivable because sure. the Love stage show at the Mirage will be celebrating its anniversary around that time. It'll be 13 years mm -hmm. uh, at the Mirage for that, and that's where I've talked. I've met Paul McCartney at the uh, at the anniversary of that uh, mm -hmm. back in uh, 2016. So did tenure. I. Did you meet him? Yeah, night? I was no. there. I sat in front of Yoko Ono. Really? Yes. She mentioned that to me. Yeah, did she? Uh, maybe that's the night we met. Anyway, um, yeah, right. so McCartney is going to be there, and we're, I'm beyond excited about this one. Okay. Yeah. All right, how much time do we have left? Do you have time to get in uh, your drunk, your shrunken head? <laughs> My drunken head. That was a long time ago. Yeah. My Golden shrunken tiki. head. Golden Tiki. There is Robin Leach, my late great collaborator. Mm -hmm. He's uh, been honored. Uh, Frank Marino there <laughs> with the uh, Baron of the Universe. But that this is, is uh, you're honored at Golden Tiki, and I'll be there Wednesday at 9 p.m. Next, a week from today at mm -hmm. 9 p.m., and I'm going to be honored with a my own shrunken head, and this uh, is a way to recognize people in the community, in the entertainment community, or as a Brandon Power says anybody who does groovy stuff. Okay. So I've done enough groovy stuff to get my shrunken head, and we're going to tee it, tee it up at 9 p.m. Free admission, just come in, and it's a cool hang, and uh, I'm really looking forward to okay, it. Okay, so the little shrunken head will look like similar to you? Yeah, they took my dimensions and everything. It'll be look like me, but smaller, okay. and, and uh, we quite, can't a bit, wait. quite a bit edgier. Okay, but, uh, yeah, we're going to unveil it then. And I'll have to join us on the show someday. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, stay with <laughs> us. We'll be back after this. Thanks, Cats.